Okay, this build is melting bosses so quickly, I'm struggling to even get footage. This is mad. We have fire, we have bleed, we have a jellyfish shield, we have a ruthless pair of bloodhound claws, we are boosting bleed builder, boosting successive hits, and we have powered up jump attacks. We also have crag blade for the enemies that are immune to bleed, simple but very talisman options, and we're destroying everything so quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Pyro Claw. Okay, let's start with the gear and setup so we can wreck anything and everything. If you could leave me a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. Thank you. So, our weapon of choice are the Bloodhound Claws plus 25 with the heavy affinity, and thanks to Patch 109, the claws have been buffed. Then to help us with our buffs, we have the God Slayer Seal plus 25, and we have a Jellyfish Shield, which we don't need to upgrade. Gear-wise, to really get our boosts going, we have the White Mask, boosting attack when bleed is in effect, the Raptor's Black Feathers, increasing jump attacks, then we have two pieces of the Royal Remains set for some auto danger healing at 18% health and below. In the Talisman slots, we have some variation depending on the situation, but we can start with Lord of Blood's Exaltation, working with the White Mask to increase attack power when Bleed kicks in. We have the Claw Talisman, working with the Raptor's Black Feathers to boost jump attacks further. Then we have Millicent's Prosthesis, which is giving us plus 5 dexterity and boosting our attack with successive hits. And then, for now, we will have the Green Turtle Talisman, boosting our stamina recovery speed. In the Flask of Wondrous Physic, we have the Faith Knot Crystal Tear, boosting our faith by 10 points, and we have the Thorny Crack Tear, boosting our attack with successive hits. As for our spells, we have Blood Flame Blade, Flame Grant Me Strength, and Golden Vow. Right, let's have a look at the stats then. I started with the Wretch class, and I have capped the rune level to 150. We have Vigor at 55, Mind at 15, Endurance is at 24, Strength is at a whopping 80, Dexterity is at 10, we use Millicent's Prosthesis to make this 15, Intelligence we don't touch, Faith at 25, and Arcane we don't touch. Okay, now let's talk about combat, shall we? So of course we want to inflict bleed, right? But we also want to hit hard and fast. So with the first variation we start by chugging our flask, then we get 35 faith thanks to the Faith Knot Crystal tier, and this means the God Slayer seal can be used and gives us better incantation scaling for our buffs. Once we have buffed with our three incantations, we can restore our FP and then use the Jellyfish Shield skill Contagious Fury to give ourselves another 20% damage boost on top of everything. I mean, just look at all these poor enemies dying. Of course, we finish our battle preparation by two-handing the claws, which splits them into both hands, and then you have R1 fast spam attacks and powered up jump attacks to melt bosses. Claws can use very limited Ashes of War, and most of the buffing ones I can use just end up debuffing Blood Flame Blade, so I've settled for Bloodhound Step as it gives us a great evasive option in combat, or you can try Flame of the Red Mains to get some extra poise damage in and add a little range to the build. But wait, what about enemies immune to bleed? Well, that's where the Ash of War Crag Blade comes into play. Simply use this instead of Blood Flame Blade, it will increase your attack by 15% and increase your stamina and stance damage by 10%. And of course, you still have the successive hits being boosted as well. When using this on enemies immune to bleed, then you don't need the White Mask and the Lord of Blood's Exaltation. So, switch out the Lord of Blood's for the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, and choose whatever mask you want instead of the White Mask. Maybe something that gives you a bit more vigor or FP. Okay, I think it's time to put this build where my mouth is and take down some bosses. Before we do, I just want to mention that this build was workshopped on one of my live streams. Big shout out to Fess, the Ash Knight, and Bill Calculator. So come and join us Wednesdays and Sundays, and you can join and follow me on Discord, Twitch, and TikTok. Links in the description. Right, let's melt some bosses.
So, there you have it guys, the Pyro Claw. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments, and is there a particular build you would like me to cover? All the best guys, see you in the next one, cheers!